Hello, my name is Gabriel from Gabac USA. In this video, I'm going to show you quickly how to fix a jump drive or maybe if you have a, like a SD card or whatever is the case, it, it doesn't matter the, the brand and the model, so everything is the same. So I'm going to show you uh, very quickly how you can fix that using Windows 10 in this case, but it will be the same if you have almost Windows 7 or any other Windows as well, maybe in the future. And after that, I'm going to show you just a little bit on Linux, if you have Ubuntu, if you want to fix it with, with that. But I'm going to show you on, on Windows, so that is what most people have, and let's jump in. So I'm going to show you uh, right away, you have to click here on, on the start menu and then you type CMD. Once you type that and then you right click and then you click on run as administrator. So once you have done that, you will see this uh, window as you can see here and then you will type disk part. So once you type that, you will see uh, the prompt so you will type a uh, list disk and then you will see here that you have a uh, disk one and this i mean this zero and this one this one is the the jump drive that i just uh, installed here so as you can see here uh you see the f and if you try it you you cl and click on uh, format and as you can see this, uh, this pen drive is 16 gigs and uh, here I, I have just uh, 600 megabytes. So that is not right. Even if I click uh, OK, it, in, it will not uh, allow me to uh, use the, the full capacity. And as you can see, uh, there was an error anyway. So what you have to do, like I said before, click, and like I said, you have to click here. And then I'll show you again, CMD, and then right click, and then run as administrator. So once you have that, you will see this uh, window that you see there, and then you type list disk, and then we are going to select select the pen drive or jump drive, or however, however you want to call it, disk one. In this case, it's disk one and you can see it uh, on the disk manager. So if you don't know what, how do I get the disk manager, click uh, here where you see the start menu and then you type disk manager and then you will see create and format a hard disk uh, partition. So that is what you're going to see. So uh, what you're going to get. So this is the other one, so, but I'm going to close this one and we're going to use the, the other one. So I'm going to show you. Okay, we have uh, that one. So now that we have everything, the this uh, management, we're going to uh, select uh, this one, enter. And now it says uh, this one is selected. So, so here on the left, we see the same thing. So now uh, we have to do is uh, type clean and enter and it should work. Okay, now the, we see it, it worked. Uh, it didn't work before because I had the, the other computer, the Linux uh, computer that was working. But as you can see here, we have a, the full capacity right now. And then we click here on new simple volume, a new, new, enter, I mean, next on everything. Uh, next, uh, that's it. And that way you, you fix the, the problem. In, in case if the volume is not initialized, uh, you have to click here on the with the right uh, button and you will you you will have to type a or you will have to choose initialize. So if you see something be, I mean be uh, pay very attention uh, very closely so you that way you can see. So here now I'm going here. I'm going to click format and then you will see it says 14.8 uh, gigs. That is okay. Okay and everything. And there you go. Now it worked. And I have uh, my full capacity. So right click properties and I have all the space. Now I'm going to show you a little bit on Linux. In this case, I'm going to 
use a uh, Oracle uh, VirtualBox. So I'm going to run this uh, machine so you can see how you can do the same thing on Linux in case if you have to do that. Uh, it will be always better if you have the machine uh, as as main so that way you won't have any problem because if you have it here maybe you have to go to USB and then you have to connect here the, the USB so that, that usually sometimes it doesn't work but if you have a Linux you type disk and then you choose here and then you see here you have the hard drive or here this is my hard drive so you the only thing you have to do is push the minus sign and then the plus sign and that's it so i don't do it right now because this is a virtual machine but if you do that uh, you will be okay so i hope you have enjoyed this uh, small tutorial leave me a comment in the section below if you have any trouble i'll try to help you or make any other video see you next time bye